Hello everybody and welcome to my July monthly haul. This is going to be a one take haul. I'm currently filming this on July 23rd and I have nothing coming and <laughs> yeah it's basically it. I haven't really been doing any shopping and therefore I'm kind of supplementing this haul with a couple of other things. So yeah let's just get started. I have my Crest Press order here. Really excited. I have a kit and I have I have two kits, but no, I think I have one. And then I have foil bundles, which I'll go over these foil bundles first. These are the seashells foil bundle. This is like a blue hollow, and this is this is just gold or maybe like a matte gold. I'm not quite sure, but I got these. I think now they're currently available in all the core foil colors. So this might be like a different gold. I'm not quite sure. I'll show you the blue though. So I got two of each because. I've said this many a time, but like themed foil bundles are so fun to me because like typically I purchase them without any intention of using them and then all of a sudden a kit falls into my lap and I'm like, here we are. So this is in the blue hollow. It's gorgeous. There is now two pages of this is upside down of full box overlays, which is or no. Oh no, she reformated reformatted this like completely almost. Oh I'm excited. Okay, so there's a full page of full box overlays, and then there's a tall box overlay, three more full box overlays, and then three rows of just like regular headers. I say regular, but like headers. Okay, and then you have this page, which looks basically the same. You have some deco bits. No, is this different? I just used a foil bundle and this looks very different. Deco bits, date numbers, whole reinforcers, the fun headers that I use on the sidebar, and then your bottom washi. You have your scripts, which there's a ton of scripts on here now, which is very exciting. A weekend banner and then some bigger icons and some smaller icons. These are really cute. I love the stickers and the pizza box. And then two pages of bougie boxes. I do get bougie boxes for the fun colors because I don't know if I'm going to have underlays or anything like that. But yes, so I did get two of the blue hollow, two of whatever this color is. I'm assuming it's like gold or matte gold, but it's gorgeous. So I got two of those and then I did get a kit. So I... I have a gripe right now y'all there has been no back to school art honestly SPC is great because she has hello class which I used for kindergarten and BTS which I used for first grade and then she reformatted scare school which I felt was to college for second grade and then she just came out with the uh, school days I think which is another like back to school kit which is very cute but there has been like no back to school art y'all went straight from summer to fall and then was like okay it's halloween now where my back to school art y'all <laughs> like i need it so this was the only like back to school art that i saw that i was like this could work so i went ahead and grabbed it this will be for avery starting a second grade i'm trying to figure out what i'm gonna do when reagan's in school too you know what i mean because like they're both gonna be in school what do i do i'm stressed but this is very cute and i'm excited to use it so I purchased these two a la carte. I purchased the little light skin girl, which I thought was cute. And then I got the red hair teacher. I don't know who Avery's teacher is yet, but I just like red hair and kits. So I grabbed that. I also have the 15 millimeter strip here. I'm gonna just move this because I always like to have the full boxes in front. But this is the freebie, which is really cute. The extra boxes, like the first day of school. I love the Target bag. This is really cute, the little teacher magic. You support, support your teachers, y'all. So anyway, here are the full boxes. Really fun colors, I really like these. Um, I like the food, <laughs> it's so random. Like little, these like little cookies, I don't know, they're really cute. Um, but this is really fun. The colors again are super bright and fun and exciting, like back to school fun. So that is the full boxes. Here's the deco, squared boxes, flags, some half boxes here. Um, I get the, not the like super ultimate kit, but the step down. It comes without the ombre boxes. You have some labels. These are solid with some headers. Then you have your pattern. Oh, these patterns are very cute. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do because I think I'm going to do underlays, but who knows. I don't even know what foil I'm going to use with this kit. This gives me all sorts of like, it could be gold. It could be silver. It could be hollow vibes, um, glitter headers, stuff like that. Oh, here's an extra box. Oh, is that like the same box? Just a different skin tone. Yes. Still very cute. Um, yeah. I like this movie marquee. I like how small it is. Some more boxes and labels and things. I mean, this is perfect. And then here's your bottom washi. Oh, and a cute little box here. Daniel's also like food, which is really cute. I like this washi a lot. I'm going to have to go when Hannah reopens her shop and kind of stare at the underlays for a minute and see what I want to do here. 
But yeah, so this is going to be the back to school kit for Avery starting second grade. Ugh, that makes me feel quite old. But I'm very excited for this. I think it's really cute. Um, so let's pop all this back in here. I think I'm just going to do this haul in one take. So that was my order from Caress Press. I only have one other sticker stuff to show you. Y'all have been really enjoying me showing my SPC stuff that I bring home. And since this is basically a whole month's worth of junk, here you go. It's not junk. Um, so first I brought home, this is a sticker pack. I This is not how they're presented. They do come with a beautiful backing card, but I personally do not need the backing cards. So when I print them and cut them for myself, I just cut the stickers. This is the grunge sticker pack. I'm going to be using this for June. Initially, I was going to do the I'm a fake sticker pack, which is the like concert one, but I just really liked this. And I've already used this kit, but I was like, mm, I really want that. So I brought that home. Um, I brought home a bunch of the scribblers, but all of the ones I brought home, I just double checked, haven't been released yet. So they're just gonna sit and get put away in my collection. But this is the one that has been released. This is number five. This is sheet number five, character number three. I believe she's called Amelia. This is the grocery one very cute needed those then i have a oh no i have another one this is number seven the reading ones she's cute i love her she looks like me i'm obsessed okay and then i have a butt ton of weekly limited edition colorways this is the bright like bright magenta i don't know um here's just all the sheets seven six five four three two and one I don't have all of these for this this dark color because I wasn't working this week like I didn't fill orders and typically after I fill orders I just grab all the ones I want um so I'm missing I think sheet number three but like I don't even use sheet number three really so I'm not worried about it but I love this magenta color it is so beautiful this is such a pretty color not magenta burgundy oh gosh and then look at this this teal oh this is so pretty. Mm. Mm, no, I thought it was going to match one of the kits I had, but it doesn't. But it's still so pretty. So love this one. Then we have the like taupe, <laughs> taupey color. Sorry if this is annoying, but here we are. And then we have, oh, I have two, the both of the Stranger Things sheets, 581 and 582. Because they're so cute. I'm obsessed with those. Let me keep those separate. And then I have this like olivey green, which like, ugh like my favorite color ever i love olive so yeah quite a bit of those but a beautiful stack there then i have four kits which i'm very excited about the first one i have is called blair and i'm obsessed with this art so beautiful has to get used i'm already thinking of underlay ideas that i want to get and it's just so pretty um i didn't collate this kit so it, I, I don't even know how it's collated it's exciting um so with this kit i did bring home that's the freebie uh fam three i love how it, i feel like mostly with the tall boxes and the fashion girls they're so far away but i love how like close up this one is i don't know why it's so cute and then you have like the ponytail which like my hair is always up and then the food mm, love it the doodles which i love these colors and the label sampler and then here's the actual kit you have the freebie these full boxes are gorgeous. I'm obsessed. Is that the same box? No, kind of. This one just has the hand. I was like, hello. Um, ugh, I just love it. Girl, they're so pretty. <sighs> I'm obsessed. And then here's the deco page. Oh, I love that. I love these colors. They're just so pretty. I love these pat. I love a good rainbow pattern. <sighs> oh, little puppet dog. So beautiful. Ah, this would look good with the like the rain underlays from Planet Hannah. Cause it's like raining. That's pretty. So this again is the Blair kit from SPC. I think this is gonna go in my August lineup, which you should have seen before this video. So I just don't know what foil I'm using with it yet. We shall see. So that's that kit. The next kit I have is Hello Pumpkin, which I'm obsessed with this kit, like obsessed with it. These colors are everything. Also, if you guys ever wanna pull your uh, kits out and you're scared that this is gonna stick to them, you pull this open and then you just kinda do a light fold and then you can pull it out without that fear because trust me, I be having that fear. 
So with this kit, I brought home the label sampler and the doodles. Again, these colors. This is the freebie box. This is so cute. I'm obsessed with this. It kind of gives me the same vibes because it has like the paints. That's cute. I like that. And just these colors, like the teal with the bright orange is kind of everything. Um, oh my God. If I don't get to use this kit because this is going to be one of those ones that's like interchangeable for a Halloween kit, I might cry. No, actually, it might not be. I think I have another kit in mind. Again, you'll see that in my, um, or you would have seen that in my uh, kit lineup. Oh my god, I love that washi. This is just so cute. Again, this is called Hello Pumpkin. I'm obsessed with this. I actually saw this kit and initially thought of um, Samantha Plans and Reads. I was like, oh my god, these are her colors. But um, yeah, I'm obsessed with this kit too. And then we move on to Halloween kits, which I am so excited about. So Halloween always freaks me out because I'm like, I can totally only use like four Halloween kits. And then I end up using two months worth of Halloween kits. So first we have Scream, which is one of my favorite Halloween movies of all time. This is the classic Scream. You have Skeet Ulrich, who's literally like, he's bae. I love him so much. Sydney Prescott. Uh, I'm obsessed. So I'll show you guys this kit. I don't even, again, foil, dark red would be great. I don't know. Black. I have the label sampler of the doodles. I think dark red would honestly be the best. Even like the blood splatter underlays. This is the freebie would be great. Um, oh, Hannah, you should make blood splatter headers and bottom washi. If they're not already there, you should. Here's the full boxes. I love a good character driven full box situation. I love, okay, so like the Drew Barrymore is so updated because this was like the initial one, Friday the 13th, which that kit is still available in shop. There's like the older Drew Barrymore and this is just so good. This is just so good. So good. I'm obsessed. Oh, I love this so much. I love these colors. I love this color. This like the inclusion of this like light purple is actually really nice. And then here's your bottom washi. Nice and plain. So like the blood drips would actually be really good with that. So this is the Scream kit. And the last kit I'm also so excited about. I talked about this in my plan with me, but somebody ordered this kit and they ordered it with the Twinkle Hollow Party foil bundle, which I need to grab because that pink would look so good with this Rocky kit. I'm a huge fan of Rocky Horror Picture Show. These colors are so fun. These definitely lend a hand to like bright pinks, bright purple um, foil for sure. Like lips, like the lips underlays would be really, if there are lips underlays, I'm just making that up at this point. I have the label sampler, I have the doodle. I have the older version of this kit, so it does come with the boxes and extra, but when you get this in the future, these will be combined. So you have the two girls here, the time warp girl I'm obsessed with. I love the scenes. This is just so good. I love these colors. I just love these colors so much. Like they're so fun. They're so pretty. I love that she does this. Oh. Seriously, like these would be so fun with like bright colors. I love this. Patterns are great. Oh, I'm obsessed. Oh, I love this like ombre. Okay, so that is everything from SPC. Um, I mean, we're getting into my season, so like I'm probably gonna be bringing home way too many kits because I'm just obsessed, 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 but I cannot wait to put these all in my lineup. It's gonna be a good time. So that's everything for stickers. I'm gonna make a little pile next to me. Look how beautiful, love that. Okay, so next I have nails to show you, which is very exciting. So I'm a huge, huge believer in supporting your fellow planner friends and just friends in general. And my friend Chandler from Chan Plans opened her own um, press-on shop and it is so stinking cute. It's called Andromeda Nail Boutique. I will link everything below as always. And it is the cutest thing ever. I like, I'm obsessed with following her Instagram because she posts all of the customs people get. And every time she posts a new custom, I'm like, well, add that to the list because they're so stinking cute. So I did place an order for one of her sizing kits because I think that is the most genius thing on the planet. BRB, my camera is about to die. Okay, sorry. So I love the idea of a sizing kit because you can get, you can figure out all of your exact sizes. And then when you order a custom set or you order sets that are already available in shop, you put in your exact sizes. So you're not just getting a bunch of nails that like could fit you or like some of them fit and then you're just stuck with a bunch of leftovers. You know what I'm saying? You have your exact sizes. And I just, I love the idea of that. I think it's so genius. So I ordered a custom sizing kit. This was so cute. She sent, um, 
everything is just so stinking cute let me show you I already have a couple of custom ideas in mind and it's funny because I already have a couple of custom ideas in mind and then there's a bunch that are available in shop that I'm like well need those so you have your cute little journaling card that just basically has like her information on it I love that there's a QR code that's adorable her little business card thank you for supporting my business how to apply press on nails love that and then here are some of the like sticky backs which is really nice she does recommend using a specific type of nail glue so they last a little bit longer and as someone who uses their hands every single i mean like in every single aspect of all of my life i use my fingers and i'm rough on my hands i think i'm gonna have to use the glue but i might try and use those today i think that'd be fun so I did get a sizing kit. I think this is so cute. I got the medium coffin, but I've been loving almond. So I might have to like not get a sizing kit in almond because all the sizes are the same, but like get some almond shapes too, which I'm really excited about. But I have this really pretty blue. When you get the sizing kit, you can request the color that you want, but I don't like, I was just like, send me whatever you want. Like I'm so excited. So she did this like light blue and it's so pretty. I used to have... <laughs> y'all been subscribed for a while like years and years and years ago like pre-reagan i used to get my nails done all the time and i was obsessed with coffin and i just think these are so pretty i've been saving these since i've got them i've had these for like two weeks to put them on because i wanted to show you guys the packaging because they're so cute hold on let me show you Ooh, see i do it i do it for everything but these kirsten hello <laughs> It's not like they're gonna ruin the nails, but at the same time, I'm like, hello. <sighs> Look how pretty this is. Like, you can just tell she works so hard. And it's just like, oh, I just love supporting a good planner girl. I love everything. I just think this is so cute. So I'm not gonna put it back in. I'm nervous. And I'm also gonna do these probably today. So these are real cute. Look how teeny these are. They probably will fit my pinky. My pinkies are so small. So I'm really excited for Chandler Andromeda Nail Boutique. I'll also link her channel down below. Definitely subscribe. So have those. And then last but not least, just to juice up this plan or this plan with me, good Lord, to juice up this haul just a little bit. Um, I'm going to show you guys some books that I purchased. Is that weird? I don't know. Let me know. Um, otherwise, I can just stick to stickers, wax, and probably nails in the future because I think that's still pretty exciting. So after I had COVID, I was like, I think it was like the day that I went back to work and I was feeling like 85% myself again. I was like, you go girl, you're going back to work. I'm so proud of you. So I went on Amazon and I went into my wish list and I purchased five of the books that were on my wish list. It was like 50, 60 bucks, but I was like so excited. I was proud of myself and it was a treat to myself. And I figured I'd show you guys. I don't have one of the books with me because it is in my side table right now because I'm currently reading it. It is called People We Meet on Vacation. I believe the author's name is Emily Henry. Let me quickly check Goodreads because I don't want to be... Yes, Emily Henry. I'm about 60% done with it. People We Meet on Vacation. It is... Oh my god. It's so cute. It's the cutest book I've ever read. It's like reading a rom-com. I love it. It's adorable. But then I have four other books here that i've or that i have purchased and i'm just really excited this book here is called the man who died twice this is by richard osman this is a the second book in a thursday murder club mystery i read a thursday murder club or thursday murder club it was so cute so this book is the second book in that series and i'm really excited to read that the third book is coming out in september i believe um and i'll definitely be picking that up because i really enjoyed that series this is basically about um a group of like four geriatric old people who live in an old people home and they solve murder mysteries and it's really fun and exciting and i really enjoy the banter and so i purchased that oh the book that i already have read that i'm going to be purchasing the other two okay here's the thing <clears throat> i'm a 27 year old woman this book is made for 15 year old girls and it's so cute and it's so good and it's such it's such a bad book that i'm obsessed with it i purchased this because i've been getting sponsored ads for the summer i turned pretty amazon series which i've already binged because apparently i'm a 15 year old girl at heart it's just so cheesy and stupid but i like i love it so much i already read this book it's really good like i said i plan on purchasing the other two this is by jenny han she wrote to all the boys i've loved before it's a good book. It's a quick read. I already read it. It was cute. The next book I have is by TJ Klune. This is the house on the, the house in the Cerulean Sea. I've been obsessed with 
Goodreads and every time I see a, like they recommend a book to me I read the synopsis and this synopsis just sounded amazing I haven't read it yet but I'm really excited to I think this might be the next one I'd reach for very good and then this is a book that's been recommended by a million people this is a series by Sarah J Moss I want to say this is a Court of Thorns and Roses this is a series Again, I always typically purchase one book at the beginning of a series, read it, see if I want to continue, and then purchase the rest, as I did with the Thursday Murder Club, as I'm doing with Summer I Turn Pretty, and now probably with this one. So these are the four, well, five, the other book is in my uh, table. Four books that I purchased. I'm really excited about all of them. I've just been really into reading recently. It's just a good de-stress reliever, or stress reliever. I want to de-stress. It's a stress reliever at night. Um, and I just love being on Goodreads. So if you guys have a Goodreads account, follow me. I'll follow you back. I love seeing what people are reading and it's really fun and exciting. So that is it for my July haul. <laughs> Haven't been shopping, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.